that's really, really, that really, 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 really cool, and I had no idea I would have that honor. Yeah. 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 Since, since you bring up music. Okay. <laughs> literally, the next one I had queued up for you. Yeah. What song have you enjoyed singing as Pip so far? Um, there's so many, and so many more to come, which is great. Um, the theme song, it has to be, like, one of my favorites, but when uh, Make Your Mark, the first um, album came out, and like six or seven of them out of eight, I'm the lead in, and I, I it just like my, blew me away. Um, uh, 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 probably Portrait Song is my favorite, which is the one that I, I sing with is uh, uh, Zip, and uh, yeah, I think that's my favorite one. Is it? it is. Isn't it? Oh my gosh! Yeah. It's, and that, that moment in the uh, episode is really special too. I think one of my favorite moments in, in, that, in that season for sure. Awesome. Hey Brenda, I have a question for you, but first, do you, did you want to give me a note card? Or is that just for your own thing? Oh, it's, I thought I could do some drawings and hand them out. Oh, oh that's, that's amazing. amazing. I got one. So, so do you want <laughs> more note cards? Sure, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, well, I could grab them for you, though. Yeah. Do you have any tips for drawing ponies? Any tips for drawing ponies? Um, I'd say, like I said in the first question, like break down the shapes, like um, analyze, like the, the heads are easy, they're big circles, right? And the body's kind of like a, a bean, you know, you get, oh, thank you so much. So, yeah, break down the shapes definitely is your first step. Like study the structure of the ponies, see your... Your big things like the circles, the ovals, the cylinders for the legs and stuff, and, and build on those. Like draw those light and then build on those. The features will wrap around those shapes, and um, yeah, and then whatever pony you do, like the hairstyle and stuff, like customize it. And, but yeah, definitely start with the basics. The the structures is always a good starting point. I think you're doing a panel later today where you're going to talk a little more about drawing ponies, right? Yeah, I'm going to do a how to draw the sea ponies since it's a the whole island vacation, we decided sea ponies, so we'll be doing sea pony drawing demos later today. So if you want to know more, be sure to check that out yeah. and check her out in the vendor hall. And right? it's easier to explain when I'm doing it as well, like what I mean by the big shapes, because to just say it without seeing something I know is a little vague, so I do apologize for that. But yeah. Sorry, I just read this next question. I completely lost my train of thought, so we're going with this because I really I'm biased. <laughs> AJ, if Pim could be in a real-world musical, what would she choose? Oh. Legally Blonde, probably. Woo! Yeah. Woo! That's an easy one. That makes so much sense. Okay. I know. Also, I want to play Alice, so... <laughs> You'd be perfect. Thank you! Hey, they do some IDW series where they take novels and turn them into ponies. Can we do Legally Blonde with... <laughs> yeah. I wonder if they could get the license for that, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because a lot of the classics, right, are public domain, so... Mm. It's, it's parody, isn't it? Yeah. Talk to well, <laughs> Yeah, ask the editors, yeah. But they should write a My Little Pony musical. Like, they should... There should be a My Little Pony musical. Like, there should be... A like, Plus Street Girls. The musical. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. A lot easier than like the yeah, movie, like, the exactly. Pony. Can you imagine like the two people in the pony outfit trying to? Yeah, be like, I want to see that musical. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got one for everyone, and I'm I'm curious to see how the answers change based on who's kind of been around longer or not. Uh, and this is your big chance to pander to the crowd here. What is your favorite part about the Brony fandom? Oh, oh, oh. no. <laughs> I mean, it's easy for me. It's the love, mm -hmm. like it truly. And, I, and I'm not saying that in a surfacey way. I, we we actually do feel the love, and it's that's really special. You know, like it honestly is. Like it's it's we, we feel it coming at you, and we're we're sending it right back to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 For me, it's. Yes. It's a, it, you know, the, the Brony fandom is, is, I feel like, very misunderstood a lot of times. A lot of people don't understand what it's all about. And um, when I first came, I was just blown away by the amount of generosity and, and kindness and, and just, yeah, love, like, like Michael said. And in this fandom, I've learned so much about humanity. So, so much. Like, you guys do... Like charity events, you guys come up and get stuff autographed. Like 
You guys have paid so much money just to get this one, the most cherished item of yours to get autographed so you could put it into the charity auction. It's like such a beautiful, selfless act. And I, I haven't seen as much generosity anywhere else. So it's really, and, and to help other people too. Like I remember being in uh, Everfree Northwest and there was a kid who was very shy and, and we were at the dance at the very end of the night and I was like, you're not dancing. And he's like, I don't know. Dance. I'm like, you know how to dance? No, no one knows how to dance, just dance. And I got him up and we were dancing and people were coming up, giving him high fives. And I'm like, it's Mother's Day, now you gotta go dance with your mom. And he's smiling and he had a whole group of people around him. And I was like, this is what the community is about. This love, this generosity, this like, I'm gonna reach out. Friendship is literally magic in this, this yeah. community. So, yeah. Yeah, you really feel it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cause I think it was, Maybe the Winnie City I did in 2018, and I came around to see the auction happening, and just, they were doing charity for like anti-bullying organization, and there was this woman there with her little child, and the woman was just, you know, tearing up just to see all the support, because obviously, um, helping against bullying was so important, and I, I don't know, I was just standing there, I was getting teared up just to see how, you know, grateful for this, for this spirit these people were, and, her little kid comes up to me and gave me a hug too. And I was like, oh, that's really sweet. Like, I don't know what I did special, but thank you. Like, I don't know. I just, I just see the love pouring out and the support for the community and everyone's welcome, which is always, always a treat. Like you never feel like you're not allowed to be part of this. Like everybody's got a place in this family. Okay, inclusion. Yes, yeah. yes, inclusion. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think the Brony fandom is a, um, a reflection of the fact that My Little Pony, mm -hmm. as a brand and as a community, as, as, a, as a franchise, uh, transcends age, transcends gender, transcends mm -hmm. societal expectations, transcends so many um, things that other brands and other, other shows, other things don't. And I think that, that this specific fandom is a reflection of that. It's about who you are and loving who you are and making connections and friendships. And that's clear in the people and the community here at this event even. I was just going to say, you might have heard the story, but, uh, and I'm sort of paraphrasing a bit, but uh, this is back, I guess, in um, version four. G generation, generation G4, four, G4, G4, sorry. Um, <laughs> that there was like, you know, uh, in the Middle East when, you know, the army's there and, they're, and it's like really heavy times, they're going in the trenches and fighting and, and it's like full on war, that they would come back to like home base and literally throw on My Little Pony to get a sense of like, you know, I, I just, I don't know, I think that's, <laughs> it's amazing, right? I mean, they're going through like the worst time of their lives and then they throw on My Little Pony to try to like just, Okay, let's just let's just decompress here, feel the love, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's crazy you bring that up. I remember way back early on in G4 reading a story from someone in the military who, they had someone very close at home, and like the way that they bonded was by watching My Little Pony. Yeah. And so he kept, um, I think it was like a little Fluttershy figurine, um, like in his pocket, right. and he got shot and it saved his life because it hit the Fluttershy. Oh. Yeah, I remember reading that back in like 2011, 2012, but like, it's kind of insane when you think about the ways that this show impacts people. Yeah. Yeah. Going from that. <laughs> <laughs> Great segue.